Weather Authority, Josh Marsis, certified the most accurate forecast in the Arklatex. Well, welcome back. It is currently 614. The good news, it is Friday. We are headed into a long holiday weekend and hopefully you just have the day off from work, school or just running errands as you'll likely want to stay inside as much as possible. It is comically cold, dangerously cold. You can kind of use whatever adjective you want, but we're down to eight degrees now in Texarkana Shreveport sitting at 10 degrees and likely going to see these numbers in the single digits here for a few more hours across the northern Arkansas. We've also also dropped to eight in Marshall and sitting at 13 currently in Natchitoches. Of course, that does not tell the whole story. We have a north wind that continues to just rocket through the region and it's really getting funneled uh, by this area of high pressure here. So I know the wind probably kept many of you up late last night. The uh, cold temperatures will wake you up quickly this morning if you have to be outside, but so will the wind. You can see that piercing wind coming through at about 15 miles per hour and likely going to see the wind at about 15 to 20 miles per hour throughout the day. So that means we are going to be dealing with these significant wind chills all morning and likely through the afternoon as well. Currently, if you go outside, you get a true feel in Texarkana of about negative 10. The uh, last report out of Idabel, the station there stopped sending data about 1:15 this morning. For all we know, it may have frozen over. Uh, but the last check, the wind chill there was negative 14. Negative two is what it feels like in Natchitoches and about negative five over in Shreveport as well as Bossier City and not going to get too much better today. We will have the sun back. It's not going to do a thing to warm us up today as we'll likely be in the teens and 20s here for much of the day. And even this afternoon, we're still looking at a wind chill at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. In fact, these temperatures may not be back above freezing until 1 or 2 p.m. tomorrow. So below freezing all day today, highs in the 20s. Of course, you factor in that wind uh, throughout the day as well, and you get the wind chill, which will likely be in single digits here through about lunchtime. And uh, best we can do for you this afternoon is a wind chill of maybe 15 degrees or so. So definitely layer up if you're headed outside. Uh, if you've ever seen the movie A Christmas Story, you know when Ralphie's little brother gets wrapped up up like the mummy. That's how you should look as you're headed out to the Independence Bowl in Shreveport today. We'll be in the 20s, but uh, again, that breezy north wind will keep the wind chill at the game this afternoon, about 10 to 15 degrees or so. So make sure you're layered up and uh, take the heaviest coat you have if you know you'll be sitting out there in the bleachers today. Now, we don't expect we'll see any precipitation. If we did see any precipitation with the cold temperatures, obviously it would be snow today, uh, but we have really dried out as well. So make sure you have the chapstick. You're staying hydrated on a day like today as we have that desert dry air out there is likely just a mostly sunny to partly cloudy day and that's uh, what will carry into the weekend as well. I do think we'll be back above freezing for maybe an hour or two tomorrow, but the uh, National Weather Service has actually extended the hard freeze warning given that uh, we'll likely see these temperatures below freezing through about noon tomorrow and you can see tonight uh, another very cold night. No single digits, but everybody should dip uh, into the teens again tonight, which will set us up with a very cold Saturday morning and uh, again Saturday that hard freeze warning extends till noon. So make sure those faucets are still covered up today as well as any exposed pipes outdoors. Tomorrow will be in the 30s, so still a very cold day, but the wind will start to loosen its grip on us. So with the lighter wind this weekend, things will definitely start to feel better, especially by Christmas Day here. We'll be in the 20s in the morning, but daytime highs will uh, cruise back into the 40s with the light breeze will feel much better on Christmas Day. But overall, still staying fairly chilly through next Tuesday. Each night will be below freezing through Monday night, Tuesday morning of next week. And those 60s sure look nice next week. We've got a nice warm up that will carry us uh, to near 70 degrees again by next Thursday. But it looks like we'll close out 2022 here with a chance of rain maybe Thursday through New Year's Eve, which is uh, next Saturday. That is a look at your forecast. Stay with us. NBC 6 News. We'll be right back.